Remember when Ramatra was announced and everyone thought he would be broken? Well, it turns out he wasn't, until a little later when people figured out he kinda was. Then they nerfed his ult and now the general consensus is that he isn't that great. Well, I disagree. Ramatra may not be the big carry pick that he seemed to be when he released, but that doesn't mean you can't stomp on enemies. His value comes from his versatility. He has almost no counters and can be played on pretty much any map. I actually think a lot of tank players capitalized on his broken ult and climbed several ranks, but weren't able to keep up once he got nerfed because they didn't understand the ways in which Ramatra is supposed to get value. But don't worry, I'm gonna go through everything you need to do to make the most out of Ramatra's flexible kit. First, let's talk about his abilities. At the time of writing, Ramatra is actually the only hero in the game with two forms. In his base form, called his Omnic form, he shoots little pellets and can throw up a shield. In his Nemesis form, he can punch people and block. Switching to Nemesis form is one of Ramatra's base abilities and lasts 8 seconds. It automatically gives him 225 armor and changes your primary fire into a pummel. The pummel ability deals 60 damage per second, pierces through barriers, and can hit multiple people at once. The biggest mistake people make when using pummel is either attacking the tank or focusing on one target. What no one seems to realize is that your punch deals less damage than your staff. Pummel deals 100 damage per second, while your staff can output 112.5, not even counting headshots. Now you might say, it's easier to hit your punches than your staff. Don't even try that one. 80% of you pop your punch to batter down the tank. Well, let me tell you, if you can't hit a tank at point blank range with the primary fire, then Overwatch may not be your game. So how should you use your Pummel? First of all, ignore the enemy tank. You want to go try to attack a lower health target such as a support. Above all, you need to do one thing when you start punching, and that is go for multiple people. The big advantage of Nemesis Form is that you can cleave through multiple enemies at once. Pretty much the only time you should use Nemesis Form against a tank is if you can also hit the squishies behind them. Always look for when the enemies are grouped up, then use your Nemesis Form to pummel them all at once and finish off whoever you get low. It's okay to use against smaller targets that you single out, because it is easier to hit them with pummel. Just make sure that you aren't only using it to attack one target, that's not what it's designed for. When in Nemesis form, you also get a block ability on top of the armor it gives you, and this is just a tool for survival. You block 75% of incoming damage and can hold it for as long as you have Nemesis form. Don't be afraid to just sit there and block if you're low and wait for heals. Believe it or not, staying alive is incredibly useful. The block even works against area of effect ultimates like Hanzo's Dragon Strike. My general rule of thumb is to start blocking once you get to about half health. If your supports are healing you, they should be able to outheal the damage done to you and let you regen back to full before you start punching again. Keep in mind, you're still getting value from a fight from just blocking. If the enemy is shooting at you, even though it may seem like you're not doing anything by standing there, you're keeping the enemy focused so that your team has an easier time. It's perfectly reasonable to pop Nemesis form just so that you can get armor and block for the purpose of staying alive. In both forms, Ramatra has the Ravenous Vortex ability. It's a projectile that you throw that can bounce off walls, and once it hits the ground, it's an area of effect that deals a little bit of damage, slows down enemies in its radius, and pulls them to the ground. I see a lot of people wasting it by throwing it off cooldown to the closest enemy. It's not the strongest ability, but you still don't want to waste it like this. Yes, you can throw it at the start of a fight where the enemies are pushing from, that's fine. It slows them down so you and your team can hit them better. But here's where I think it's best. If the enemy is running dive heroes, you can save it for when they dive you or your team and slow them down so your team can focus them easily. A well-placed vortex on a Genji is a free kill, so just be aware that if the enemy wants to play close to you or dive you, you might want to save this ability for those interactions. Of course, don't be stingy with it, you want to get as much value with it as possible, so you should be using it often, just make sure you're using it at optimal times. Also, the fact that it pulls people to the ground is a trap, do not try to pull people out of the sky, the vertical hitbox is quite low, it's just not worth it. Then of course in Ram's Omnic form you have a shield, which is called Void Barrier, and it only lasts 4 seconds. You can use it to close distance, or literally like any other shield, with the knowledge it only lasts a couple seconds. If you have it available, always, always, always use it before you go into Nemesis form. That way, when you go back into Omnic form, the cooldown is almost up again. There's not a lot to say about the shield itself, just use it like you would any other shield, but with less uptime, or save it to block enemy ultimates. You can in fact block a Rhine Shatter if you're fast enough, I've done it myself. And finally, we have Ramatra's Ultimate Annihilation. You immediately enter Nemesis form and create an area of effect style damage to anyone in your radius. The ability only lasts 3 seconds on its own, but the timer is slowed when you have an enemy within your radius that you're dealing damage to, meaning the ult can actually last up to 20 seconds. The use case is simple, use it when there are lots of enemies around so you can keep it up as long as you can. As tempting as it is to just go super aggressive and murder everyone, remember that you can still block. Don't get so caught up punching that you never check your health bar. Since your ult can last 20 seconds, you can also block for 20 seconds if you need to. Since the last Ramatra update, if you go into Nemesis form to your ultimate, your armor gets refreshed, which is a huge plus since previously you had to cancel Nemesis form and then use your ult if you wanted the armor. Anyway, the ult is a great way to engage during the start of a fight. Even if the enemies have support ults, they can rarely cancel out your damage, so his ultimate really has no hard counters. Alright, now let's talk about playstyle. As tempting as it is to play super aggressive, Ramatra's best playstyle is poke. Here's the thing about Ramatra though, he's good at almost any playstyle. What makes him so strong is his versatility. 
playing at a distance with his staff is actually what he's best at, so try to play in the same kind of way as Sigma. But when the enemies get close, his ability to go into Nemesis form really shows his potential. You can play him like Sigma and like Reinhardt, which is just incredible. Is he as good as Ryan up close? Not quite. Is he as good at Sigma when poking? Not really. But because he can do both those things, he's viable on basically every map and against basically every team comp. If there's any hero in the game that's safe to one trick, it's for Mantra. I'm gonna make the same recommendation with Ramatra as I do with most other tanks. Focus the squishies and ignore the enemy tank. Like I said earlier, if you do attack the tank, only do it with your pummel when you're cleaving multiple enemies behind them. Once your team closes the distance, or the enemy team closes the distance, that's when you pop Nemesis form and go attack the back line. A Ramatra is terrifying for an Ana or Mercy that thought they were safe behind their D.Va. Once Nemesis form deactivates, make sure you can play around cover and play safe. Ramatra has much less health than most tanks, so you can't constantly frontline like you would normally do. Now it's tip time, so here we go. Tip number one, you can quick melee win a nemesis form. This is worth pointing out because with the pummel, you could either kill someone with four hits or with three hits and a melee. Tip number two, with your ultimate, feel free to cancel it once you've secured the fight, then you can clean up the last kill or two with your normal nemesis form, that way you gain more ult charge. Also, ram ult is one of the best for overtime since enemies are forced to stand near you on the objective. Tip number three, use your nemesis form to speed up coming from spawn. This may seem obvious to some of you, but half the ram players I see just slowly walk around. When you respawn, use it to get back to the fight faster. Come on guys, the exception to this is when the fight is close to your spawn, you don't want the ability on cooldown in a stalling situation. That's gonna be it for the video guys, make sure to like and subscribe if you found it helpful, and let me know in the comments how playing Ramatra has felt this season. I for one have had a lot of fun. See you!